The Splatoon 3 chill season is just around the corner, literally a day away for some of us in the European region of the world, giving us new weapons and stages among a variety of other things. And Nintendo decided to release one you final massive patch note just before the season launches, fixing a bunch of bug fixes, balancing weapons that were not good before, and just overall fine tuning the game. If you guys are curious, then you can check out the link in the description below that will take you to the official Nintendo report page that will showcase all the report in its finest. Without further ado, this is the Splatoon 3 2.0.0 comparison patch. The Tri-Stringer received an increase in turfing power which allows it to paint more efficiently now. Before the patch was dropped, Splatana Wiper's horizontal slashes were terrible at turfing evenly and using it for movement was also pretty bad. However, the turfing power was increased by 27%, allowing it to do both way more consistent. Angle Shooter got buffed so it travels 20% faster and reaches a little bit further than before. The ink efficiency of using your main weapon whilst the Zipcaster was active was extremely poor and you would not be able to do it nearly enough as what you wanted to with the main weapon. But now after the patch you are capable of consuming a lot less ink and being way more efficient when using your main weapon whilst the Zipcaster is active. The returning hitbox with the ink bag will now do a lot more damage with both its travelling and its final explosion. Reef Slider received the same damage increase that Ink Vac got. This is for both the traveling and the final explosion hitbox. Tender Muscles finally got its hard hit and nerf that it really deserved. You can no longer start charging your next set of missiles until your special gauge has completely ran dry. Undertow's spillway got two changes to it. The far right side area where the sponge drop down was is completely gone now, along with the grate that used to be on the pillar next to it. And the ramp that is present in the ranked variations of spillway has been added into the Tarfor variation as well. There are some smaller things that I'd like to cover quickly before I get on to the final category of this video. Those things being related to the point system of special gauge charging on some weapons, as well as the cost of points to participate in Anarchy Battles. The Airspray MG, NZAP 85, Splash Shot Pro, Jet Sculpture and H3 Nozzle Nose all have a decrease of 10 points, whereas the Elite 4K and the Scope variations have an increase in 10 points. Now for Anarchy Battles, there is an increase in 10 points for A-, A and A+. Now if you're playing an S or S plus and above, then you'll have an increase of 20 points to participate in Anarchy Battles. Now some things regarding Samurai have been changed. Big Shot's movement speed was decreased by 30%, allowing players to react more quickly and get more shots in before he retreats back to the water. Some specials got tweaks to be better off for fighting against boss salmonids. Triple Strike got an increase of 25% as well as a new feature so that when salmonids bump into you they will activate the console that launches the missiles. Killer 5.1 also got a damage increase of 25% but it also got a more efficient tracking system for boss salmonids. Inkjet got a buff so when players are finished using the inkjet, enemies will not track the landing location of the player once it's finished. And finally, when a player starts to charge up Booyah Bomb, enemies that once were chasing the player will proceed to lose interest in them. In conclusion, this update is very nice. It has a lot of good things, very good balance changes, some not always good as others, but overall very fair and very nice for the first overall patch change. If you guys liked today's video, then you should subscribe and turn notifications because I'll be doing more Splatoon stuff in the future. And until then, I will see you all in the next video.